All right, this little guy actually presents here. He's, he's a known insulin dependent diabetic and he's come in with a pH of like 6.9. He's actually got a little bit of a, a dental, probably a dental abscess that's kind of kicked him off here. But um, he's, his, uh, his breathing is really what we kind of call Kuzmar breathing. And when you, when you uh, smell his breath, it, it basically has a uh, very sweet kind of a acetone, ketone sort of odor to it. Uh, so he's getting his, um, um, getting a little fluid well it's a 20 per kilo, and then we're going to also give, start him at 0.1 units per kilogram per hour of, um, of insulin, and he's going up to the intensive care unit. And uh, his, uh, um, like his, here, you know, his initial, uh, like I said, his initial pH was uh, 6.9, uh, in that ballpark, so um, and his mom is, knows these videos end up on YouTube, and she's okay with that, right, Mama? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Uh, anything else? So, so basically, his when he went to bed last night, his sugar was what? Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Yeah. And then when he woke up this morning, he had a little trouble waking him up, and he was breathing like this, right? When was he diagnosed with diabetes? Three years. Two years ago. I'm sorry. Three years old. Okay, three years old. Okay, so he's he's five now. Okay, and um, this is is this the second time he presented with and with breathing like this, or is he? Ever, this, I've never seen this before. You've never seen this before. Okay, so this is the first time. So, all right. Well, um, thank you so much for letting us do this because um, I think this is important for people to see what this Kuzmal type breathing and and how. Uh, someone in, with diabetic ketoacidosis would present. So thank you so much.